Tonight we are taking a look at some of the things that has been added to Diablo Immortals since its launch back in 2022 June I believe so I came across this post on X or Twitter whatever you guys call it it is by Diablo Immortal official page itself and I was like hmm why not let's talk about this this is of course not everything but few things so they have added over 17 hours of story based content since its launch and uh, three new zones but they are pretty empty in my opinion and most of them are not even all that great for the open world farming so maybe in future they will add some more life to the new zone because right now not even terror rift are forming inside of any of the new zones so i'm not sure if adding more zones is going to be good if none of the activities are working in those zones and next we have a clean based game mode that is the accursed tower this is a good one you can go uh do the accursed tower yourself you clean can try and get these towers which gives you a benefit so i think that is good and uh, my goodness then they added the uh, barber in game where you can go and change the appearance of your character that was much needed and then we have the familiar pet system it was somewhat good but a bit too complex till this day and it will be getting even more complex uh, in the upcoming months we already saw a evolution pets evolution uh, leaks a couple of weeks back where you will able to evolve your pets into different forms and that is going to make the overall system a bit more complex and uh, i'm expecting that to release with the next major update or the one after that but most likely they will introduce that with the next uh, major update so they can squeeze some money out of the spenders and in december they will introduce maybe uh, another monetization feature i'm not sure yet and then they added 35 new raid bosses those are something i always like but also a bit wasted i gave them a feedback a couple of weeks ago to use those bosses in more modes or create a new mode where we can go and fight them uh, like climbing uh, a tower where we go and uh, defeat these bosses like how the part of blood works for shadows it would be something i like uh, doing every month and getting some rewards out of that but uh, so right now is a wasted opportunity hopefully uh, they will do something with these 35 raid bosses i think 35 is enough to have a tower climbing mode or something like that and then they added two new classes which were nice and they are saying six new paragon tree because now they have uh, made an overhaul of the paragon tree system and we are only left with six and fishing is not something i do solo dungeons i'm not sure if that is something i would advertise here if it was up to me uh, i would have advertised the ability to find a party like one click and do a random dungeon with the party i think that is one of the best feature that they added for the dungeon solo is still going to be somewhat boring and i would recommend everyone using the random uh, dungeon feature instead of doing a solo unless you are a new player in hell difficulty then you will not able to uh, find the random dungeon because most of the players are now in inferno thought this was interesting to look at some of the things that have been added to diablo immortal since its launch back in 2022 i'm signing off see you all in the next one